Hey Tony, it's Thursday, and it's not, it's not going to be a great Thursday. I have an exam today, it's my business organization's exam, which is probably the class I feel least comfortable with. Corporate law as a whole, it, I don't, it doesn't do it for me, like I understand it as much as I have to, but I don't like it, I'm not interested by it, and it kind of makes you realize that you do better in classes that you're more interested in than on classes that you're not. A good example is um, one class that I've been very that I've been very interested in is evidence, and evidence is going to be a very tough exam, but I think I'm going to do just fine on it because I'm not that concerned about it because I really enjoy evidence. And we had to do a lot of a lot of evidentiary hearings and such through mock trial, and even just like in standard court, evidence is king basically because you don't have a case without evidence, and you, if you don't have a case, then you're not going to do anything. So it really is one of the founding blocks of the legal system, is evidence. I'm not as worried about that. My um, First Amendment class, I think my exam went very well. I had that one on Tuesday. And I thought I did all right on it. It's um, definitely wrote a lot more on the first question than the second question. But question one was, it's called an issue spotter, in which how many issues can you pull out? And I got a lot of them, whereas question two was actually a more focused question. And I felt like I got what I needed on that one, but I feel like I could have done a little bit more, but we'll see what ends up happening. Um, yesterday I had a, pro, a professional responsibility, which I think I did just fine on. I've done well on the papers. I have at least a B in the class, which is good. So really like the exam was just um, if I get an A, that's perfect because then I get an A in the class. And if I get an A in the class, that's obviously the best I can do. And then today obviously is business organizations, which I have at one and I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> But on the bright side, as soon as it's over, today's going to immediately get better because, for one, I only have one more exam. That's Tuesday. And I'm sorry, and that's Monday, so I'm in the home stretch now. Saturday, obviously, is the, is the fantasy tournament in Boston, which I'm going to have a lot of fun at. And then tonight is what's going to be awesome. Uh, Taylor and I ended up getting tickets to go see uh, Guardians of the Galaxy tonight. Now, you might not know this, Tony, but Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my personal favorite it's, it's, it's my favorite Marvel movie, the original one. I love Star-Lord. I find Chris Pratt play him, plays him spectacularly. So I'm really excited for tonight. Everything I've heard tonight is just as funny as the original. It doesn't quite have the same heart and soul. That's because it's no longer new. Like, it was brand new. It had never been done in the last one. The Marvel movies had never necessarily taken themselves too seriously. Then in comes Guardians, and it just makes everything hilarious. But today tonight is Guardians 2, which I'm excited for. Today I got our tickets like a week and a half ago which was exciting. I mean, it's kind of one of our dumb little traditions that we've basically done is um, uh, for every Marvel movie. So what, if you live in a bigger city, they have basically pre-midnight showings. They, they're called preview showings in which like, remember back in, remember how back in Kent when I went and go, when I went and saw um, Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter for the midnight showing for Deathly Hallows part two. Here, they don't really have that issue. Here, they have preview showings at 7.30 p.m., so basically, you get you get to see the you get to go see the show five hours before it's supposed to be out, and it's their preview shows. Now it's only in good sized cities, like they had it in Toledo, and they have it here. I doubt they have it in Kent, but they might. I mean, I haven't been in Kent in a few years, but so they might. But otherwise, it's um, it's always kind of been a tradition. Is we always go see the seven thirty show, which would be fun. And there's a spaz. Hi, spaz. Spaz. Want to get down, bud? Oh, come on, Spaz. Say hi to the camera, Spaz. Hi, Tony. How are you doing? I think he's going to look at me like I'm crazy. And there's Cat again. <laughs> so, a little, uh, guest, a little guest appearance there from Spaz. But uh, basically, as far as it goes, we go, we see the, we see the um, 7.30 showings for every Marvel movie. We also saw it for uh, Rogue One and, um, <laughs> come on, Spaz. Uh, you're ruining my videos, Fuzz Face. But we ended up, uh, we, saw, we saw the showing for, um... that was the cat again. But as I was saying, we went and saw the midnight showing, or we saw the 7.30 showing of most Marvel movies, and we saw it of Rogue One, and we also saw it of uh, The Force Awakens. So it's a, kind of a bit of a dumb tradition of us. Really, Spaz? <laughs> it's, a, it's a dumb tradition, 
but it's just something that we do because like I'm sure you and Tori have the same things you have like small little things that you do little traditions that you've made I mean you guys have been together for a little while now and Ted and I have been together for a little while longer <laughs> but uh we always it's what what we do it, it, it's our thing we go see the movies at the 7 30 showings we get tickets a couple weeks in advance so we can make sure we have them for the preview showings and that's what we do. It's it's our little tradition, and we're doing that tonight with uh, Guardians Volume 2. So uh, to answer your question from last week, Tony, I actually, uh, for my uh, Il- Ilverney house, I was the Horned Serpent, which I guess is for the Scholars, which is the fact that I'm, you know, giving basically my, uh, I'm basically donating my right kidney to go to law school. <laughs> it's, I obviously would have to think I'm a scholar. Where is my Hogwarts house? I don't. I think. I think the test was wrong on that one. It put me in Hufflepuff, and I have nothing against Hufflepuffs. I think Hufflepuff is a great house, but it doesn't fit me. I have always considered myself to be, of to be a um, Slitherclaw, which is a combination of Slither and Ravenclaw, because I've I've always been I've always been smart. I've always been witty. I've always been clever, which is perfect for Ravenclaw. I've also always been very ambitious, and very um. Single mind, not single minded, but uh, I have a sole focus and I push until I get to that focus, which is something that fits perfectly for Slytherin. And so that's why I think, like, I've always considered myself to be a Slytherclaw because I'm a combination of both. I would honestly think if, if I actually got sorted, I'd probably be put into either Slytherin or Ravenclaw. Probably Ravenclaw because I feel that um, my cleverness is a bit over my ambition, but that's just what I personally think. My wand, however, what I thought was pretty perfect. It was a uh, pear wood, 13 inches, phoenix core with supp- with um, supple flexibility. So that was that seemed pretty accurate. It was obviously a long wand because I'm a tall person. I thought I thought the phoenix feather was appropriate, and I also thought that the uh, the pear wood was appropriate. And then I I didn't I don't understand what the flexibility is all about, but I'm not Ollivander, so I don't really know. But my question for you for next week, Tony, is what little traditions do you and Tori have? So obviously, Taylor and I always go and see the, um, we go and watch the the Marvel movies and the Star, basically the Disney movies at the uh, preview showing. Where So what do you and Tori do? Other than that, I'm going to be uploading this video early because I have an exam at, at 1 and then the movie's at 7.30. So, Tony, I'll see you on Tuesday. Later, bro.